In September 1862, General Robert E. Lee marched his army, now called the Army of Northern Virginia, into Maryland. His plan was to march north of Washington and draw Union troops away from the capital. As Lee's army marched north through Maryland, General George McClellan moved his army to follow him, always staying between Lee's army and the capital. McClellan's forces numbered 80,000 men. On September 13th, in an amazing stroke of luck, Union soldiers found Lee's secret orders wrapped around three cigars in a field. The orders revealed Lee's strategies and plans. McClellan now knew the size, location, and movements of Lee's army, and he would use it against him. On September 17, 1862, McClellan's Army of the Potomac attacked Lee's Army of Northern Virginia near Sharpsburg, Maryland. Over 100,000 men clashed for control of the cornfields, sunken roads, and bridges outside the town and along the Antietam Creek. The battle was one of the bloodiest of the Civil War, and the Battle of Antietam still stands as the bloodiest day in American history. At three different positions on the battlefield, Union forces assaulted Confederate defenses, resulting in devastating losses for both armies. The battle began when Union forces, under the command of General Joseph Hooker, attacked Confederate batteries under the command of General Stonewall Jackson. Jackson's forces counterattacked through a cornfield. As the battle continued, Union forces assaulted the Confederate troops that had fortified themselves in the sunken road. Fighting was fierce, and the position was difficult to take. Finally, the rebels were driven from their positions, and the sunken road becomes known as Bloody Lane, as bodies lay two to three deep. Then, as the day went on, Union forces, under the command of General Ambrose Burnside, attempt to take a stone bridge that crosses the Antietam Creek. Confederate gunners shoot down from the heights on the opposite side of the creek. After multiple attempts, Burnside's men take the bridge and then run into Confederate reinforcements under A.P. Hill's command. Burnside's men were forced back. Despite the intense fighting, neither side gained any significant ground and the day ended in a stalemate. However, Lee had lost a quarter of his men, forcing him to retreat from Sharpsburg and return to Virginia, giving up on his plans to invade the North. In all, over 132,000 men fought in the Battle of Antietam. Union troops, under the command of General George McClellan, suffered over 12,000 casualties, including over 2,100 killed, over 9,500 wounded, and over 700 missing or captured. Confederate troops, under the command of General Robert E. Lee, suffered over 10,000 casualties, including over 1,500 killed, over 7,700 wounded, and over 1,000 missing or captured. So why did this battle matter? The Battle of Antietam effectively ended the Confederate invasion of the North. Lee's plans to invade the North and attack Washington, D.C. were ended when he suffered devastating losses at Antietam. Lee couldn't afford the losses and was forced to return to Virginia. A Confederate victory could have convinced England to intervene in the war and recognize the Confederacy as an independent nation. With Lee's defeat, the British government decided to stay out of the conflict and the South missed a major opportunity. General George McClellan's failure to pursue Lee's retreating army and crush it led to his dismissal as commander of the Army of the Potomac. After the battle, Lee's forces were in full retreat. President Lincoln, eager to end the war, ordered McClellan to pursue Lee attack his forces, and destroy the rebel army. McClellan, overly hesitant as usual, refused to follow the orders. This insubordination allowed Lee to escape and consolidate his forces so they could fight on. Infuriated, President Lincoln traveled to Sharpsburg to view the battlefield and talk with McClellan in person. Shortly after, Lincoln relieved McClellan of command for good. By December 1862, it was evident that the Civil War would be a long and bloody conflict. Tens of thousands were dead, yet neither side held an advantage in the war. And still, the worst was yet to come. <laughs>